there's a bunch of bikers just roaming around. They're a bit not very suspicious. So for today's video, I decided to come to the farmer's market. I've never been to the farmer's market and this idea came late last night at like 11 p.m. I had just finished cooking because I eat dinner quite late and I was like, God, I've been eating the same food for two weeks straight. And I was like, I need to change it up. I'm a pescatarian. So sometimes I struggle to change it up. So I always stick to like roast vegetables and tofu with a bunch of spices and chili because we all know I love chili. We don't all know that actually. <laughs> so for today, I said, I've never been to the farmer's market. I've been purchasing my vegetables from the supermarket and I realized that they're quite expensive in comparison to what we would normally get from a farmer's market. So basically that's what we're doing today. We're actually very close by. I've already driven up to Ta'ali, but I haven't found the exact place where the farmer's market is. So I'm about to do that. And when I do, I will show you the farmer's market. This is not all I bought. I have a huge bag behind me. I have no idea how I'm going to carry them up into the lift, into the house. The shop that I was actually purchasing from, they didn't have red peppers. I mean, this is not completely red. It's like a fusion of colors, but I thought it looks so pretty. I'm not sure which way it is to come out. I always get lost over here. I would be surprised if I don't get lost. had a power cut which meant I could not cook and that pretty much screwed me over. As I said earlier my staples are tofu and vegetables and sometimes I also put in fish or fish. Basically obviously they're my staples but I always cook it in the same way so I just wanted to spice it up a little bit literally and figuratively. My main priority when cooking is convenience. I cannot spend two hours or five hours in the kitchen. I need to be quick, simple, but tasty. And this, I think is gonna be it. I've never done it before. I've seen the recipe before, but I can't find it. I'm gonna try and remember what it was and probably like add in some of my random ingredients to it. So we're gonna start by removing the excess water from the tofu. Anyway, I hate following recipes because I find myself taking 10 times longer cooking because I'm trying to follow the recipe to a T. I don't even know if I do this properly. I'm just going to place a few plates on top of this so there's weight so the, all the water comes out of the tofu. And that is what I've read people should do. So that is what I do. If I do it properly... Guys, guys. This guy that I bought the vegetables from gave me this sort of bloody pepper. What the hell? This is quite the aesthetic. Vegetables, I'm gonna do some pepper, some zucchini, some onions, garlic, maybe some cauliflower. The cauliflower is not that good either, guys. I went all the way to the Ali, which is like a 30 minute drive from here. And the vegetables that I got are not great. Mind you, the peaches are good. The peaches that I got, I'm going to use this stainless steel dish. I hope it's big enough. I'm using the stainless steel because I feel like this will caramelize the vegetables more. Cooking tips for you! By the way, guys, I'm not a chef. I'm gonna start by cleaning my crocetti, no, my, my zucchini. Basically, I do not have a standard way of chopping my vegetables up. I'm already thinking that this dish is small. 
So what we want to do first is slice that bit off. I've cut all my vegetables. There's quite a lot and I'm thinking of using a bigger dish. <laughs> I forgot to do the onion and the garlic. Right, I still need to chop the garlic and the tofu, but I'm super bored of chopping right now. So we're going to go on to the exciting part of this, which is what's going to give this dish flavor. So we need coconut milk for this. Now I know this is more diluted, but the problem is this is all I have of the canned coconut milk. So we're just going to have to mix them and hope for the best at this point. I'm gonna go in with some turmeric. I'm literally gonna eyeball this. I'm gonna add some ground ginger. Rogan Josh masala. You think that's enough? Tiny bit more. I have a feeling I'm adding too much spices. I'm going to add some cornstarch so it thickens it. Enough. If I remember well, the recipe actually asked for maple syrup, but I don't think I have maple syrup. I'm adding in some soy sauce as well. I just almost finished. Wait. And since I don't have maple syrup, I think I'll just add like a teaspoon of sugar. And basically now we need to whisk it. I'm going to chop the tofu up into cubes now. I'm going to change the dish because I think this one is a little bit too small, don't you? I'm gonna go sort this finger out, don't worry, it didn't go into the dish. Ah, wait, I wanted to add in some lemon. I mean, I also wanted to put in some fresh ginger, but now I'm too lazy to chop that, so I'm just gonna squeeze in some lemon. Guys, you did not tell me that I didn't put the garlic in. They were right in your faces and you still did not tell me. Like, how, how can you do that? Okay, I actually chopped them up already. So I'm just gonna toss them in now. While I'm at it, I'm also gonna put in some rosemary. Yay, rosemary, woohoo! I'm just gonna heat up my coffee that I made ages ago and drink it while this bad boy gets cooked. Can you imagine it's really bad? <laughs> Guys! I'm gonna let it like set for a few minutes and then I'll stir it and then I'll serve it and hopefully there's still some daylight because I want a good shot of this. I've literally been posing for like 10 minutes for this thumbnail. Anyways, the final result 
looked good. The sauce is a bit too liquidy. I think it was supposed to be a bit thicker, but I don't mind. You can also serve this with rice, maybe non bread or anything of the sort. I'm not very hungry, so I tend to just eat veg and tofu for dinner to keep it light unless I didn't have lunch. Okay, taste this. The sauce is way too good. Oh my god. That is so good. The sauce has the perfect amount of sweetness but also spice and chili. The tofu, the tofu would definitely be better if you fry it beforehand. Even maybe if you seasoned before. I didn't. I'm too lazy. But that would have definitely been better because sometimes tofu tastes of nothing or of cardboard and it's a bit boring. But the sauce, guys. And the rest of the vegetables were really nice. Okay guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you liked it, please do subscribe or hit the like button. Other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, be good and adios. Ciao!